Hey guys, good morning. I notice a lot of you have been asking me about how I edit my videos. So today I'm going to show you how I edit on Premiere Pro. It's very very easy. So let's get into it. Okay, first up you have to launch your Premiere Pro. Uh, just click on the button and then after that you just hit new project. Okay, you can name your project as whatever name you want it to be. And okay, the next step is you have to import your footage. This is the footage that I got from the DJI Spark. Uh, then you just import it, so just slide it in and then it will import the files into the project. Okay, now, now you need to create a new composition. To do that, the easiest way is just drag it into the new composition button and bam, you have a new composition. Okay, when you drag the footage into the new composition, what you will do is you will copy all the settings from that video to match whatever that you have in your footage. So uh, if it's 1080p from DJI Spark, it's going to create a composition that's 1080p. So, Easy way of putting it. Okay, for now I'm just gonna delete that footage. Okay, I'm gonna rename the composition to Masjid Wilayah so that I don't confuse myself. Okay, you don't have to worry too much about all this because it's not really that important. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in an audio file. This is a music that I'm gonna synchronize the video clips to. You can get a lot of really good background music from YouTube channels like Vlog Music No Copyright. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. These are all non-copyrighted music so you can use them freely. Uh, without any royalty fees. So, one of the most important shortcut that you need to remember is the C for cut. And what it does is, it will change your tool into a cutting tool. I'm gonna hit C now because I'm gonna cut the first parts of the audio. After that, I'm gonna just click on that part of the audio where I wanna cut, right? I forgot to mention this in the video, but to go back to the regular selection tool, you just have to hit V. I'm gonna highlight the front part of the audio. And I'm going to remove it by hitting Shift plus Delete on Windows or on a Mac, it's FN Shift plus Delete. The Ripple Delete, what it does is essentially it will remove the portion of the clip that you selected and then it's going to shift your entire project forwards. So you don't have to worry about selecting and moving them forward again. So that's a very handy keyboard shortcut. I use it all the time, so remember. So now I'm going to highlight the portion of the clip that I want to have in my project. To do that, I just double click on the clip and then the clip will be displayed on the source monitor. I highlight the portion that I want to start and then I hit I. This is going to start the clip. After that, I go towards the end of the clip that I want to exit. So I hit O and that's going to cut the clip into that small portion right there. Okay, so after that, I'm going to drag video only. Okay. And then now I'm going to play forward. I'm going to see whether this is what I want. Then I realize that it's not as fast as I wanted it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Ctrl plus R on Windows or on Mac, it will be Command plus R. This is essentially the speed tool. And then I'm going to change the speed to 150%. Hit OK. And then you realize that the clip is slightly trimmed and it's going to play a lot faster right now. Now the next step is very important. You have to go towards the beat that you want in the audio. Just listen through and then find the beat and then hit the C button again to cut. After that, just highlight the portion where the beat is and then just click on the clip. This is going to cut the video at the portion where the beat is because you want your video to change at every beat. It's easier to edit that way because I'm not going to go through all the advanced editing methods here. Uh, we're just going to cover the basics. Now I'm going to select the second portion of the clip that I want to connect the two together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward in the source monitor into the portion that I want, hit I again, and then after that I go towards the end. It's the same method as before, and then just hit O. I and O are essentially input and output. Now after that I'm going to just drag the video again, snap it into the project, bam! You have two clips inside of your project now. I realise this clip is a bit too long, so I'm going to cut the front portion out. So I'm going to hit C, right? And after that I'm just going to click on that portion where I want to remove. And then I just hit on the clip and then hit delete. So the rest of the stages are all just repetitive. I'm just going to do the same step again and again and again. So you get the idea, it's quite easy. Okay, then after that, I end up with this clip and I'm going to remove the end portion of the audio because I don't need them anymore. Just hit C and then remove it. So, and then there you go. That's your clip. Okay, the next part is going to be a bit of basic color grading. To do that, it's very simple. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And to do that, I'm just going to hit on that new button. And then I will choose adjustment layer. And then just click on adjustment layer. 
and then just hit OK. It's going to copy whatever composition settings you have. And then drag and drop the adjustment layer onto the second track, the second video track, and then just drag to determine how long it's going to be. I'm just going to cover the entire composition. And then after that, hit on the color tab. This is going to bring you to the color grading tab. The most important thing that you need to know now is the input LUT because that's the only thing you're going to use for this basic tutorial. LUTs are essentially lookup tables that you can use to color grade your table. They are essentially presets, right? And this preset is good because it's based on a certain color profile, like for example, teal and orange, which is super widely used. Now I'm going to use this LUT. I'm going to hit Browse. Okay, and then I'm going to use the DJI Cinematic LUTs. I'm going to put a few links of some LUTs that I use in the description below. Make sure to check that out. The LUT that I'm going to use today is from Francis Darakut. He actually sells this LUT for about 4 US dollars, which is quite okay because it's actually very nice for DJI Spark footage. I'm going to choose the Punch LUT. This is going to boost some of the colors and some of the saturation. It's going to create a much better look. Remember that DJI Spark footage is not very nice when it's just plain, when it's straight out from the drone you need to color grade it somehow. So using a LUT is very easy. Okay, the next step I will not cover in this video tutorial because they are a bit too technical. I'm gonna just adjust some of the sliders like the exposure, the mid-tones, the shadows. Those I'm gonna cover in future tutorials, probably. Okay, so I'm gonna export the footage now and voila! This is your results. So that's it from this really easy tutorial. I hope you can catch up with everything I said in the video. If it's too fast, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is my first time teaching you guys how to do Premiere Pro editing, so it might be a bit too fast. Yeah, but if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And give me suggestions on what kind of tutorials you want me to do next. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for getting me to 1K. And don't forget me.